next, a hilarious look at today's current events and future trends. It's an all-new, not necessarily the news, 1990. Next on HBO, simply the best. In April, HBO brings home the brightest stars, the biggest hits. HBO, simply the best. Tom Berenger, Charlie Sheen, and Corbin Burns in suit up for the season's funniest hit. It was out of here. Major League, the best. Remember this? Sybil Shepherd, <laughs> Robert Downey Jr., Ryan O'Neill, and Mary Stuart Masterson star in the romantic comedy. All he wants is your money. You're wrong. He wants my body. Chances are, the best. Director Blake Edwards turns up the heat when John Ritter and Vincent Gardini discover love is only skin deep. The best. What's going on? From the director of Rambo. I feel something. Somebody's alive in here. Peter Weller, Amanda Pays, and Richard Crenna fight dangers of the deep in the watery thriller Leviathan. The best. John Hurt stars in the HBO original movie for April, The Investigation Inside a Terrorist Bombing. And it's nothing but the best in May with Scrooge and the HBO original movie by Dawn's Early Light. HBO, simply the best. You know, since we were last on, the world has really gone to hell in a handbasket, hasn't it? They're ba 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 back. And this is the first, not necessarily the news of the 90s. 1990. Who's in? Who's out? News. No, 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 news. I'm exhausted. Not, not necessarily not, the news. Not, 1990. Not, whatever that means. There's just so much to assimilate. Truly remarkable. As long as they're here, we're here. Not necessarily the news. 1990. Coming up next on HBO. We've been blessed in this administration by a good team who don't like the game of who's up, who's down, who's winning, who's losing, who's looking good, who's in, who's out. Necessarily the News 1990 with Tom Parks and Annabelle Gerwich. Contributing editors Meryl Marco and Richard Rosen. Featuring John Ross and special guest star Lucy Webb. Brought to you tonight by Perrier Classic. For those who like the taste of benzene. And by Unwed Mother 100s. You've come a long way, baby. And now... Not necessarily the news, 1990. Good evening. I'm Tom Parks. And I'm Annabelle Gerwich. And this is the first Not Necessarily the News of the 90s. You know, since we were last on, the world has really gone to hell in a handbasket, hasn't it? How can you say that, Tom? We've got democracy and freedom breaking out in practically everywhere. The oppressed are rising up and overthrowing their oppressors. We've got glasnost and perestroika and disarmament and a new concern for the environment and an optimism about the future that rivals any period in human history. And all this since we were on last. Okay, okay, you made your point, uh, but you forgot one little thing. The baseball season may be delayed. <laughs> I'm bummed. We'll have more on the 90s, but first, our top story. President Bush was embarrassed once again today as he took another phone call from an imposter. Please hold for Commander Cody. Hello. <laughs> this is Commander Cody of the Intergalactic Space Force. Commander, how are you, sir? The White House said the president will talk to anyone at any time if it leads to the release of the hostages. 
And in the wake of his recent defeat in the Nicaraguan elections, Daniel Ortega has returned to his former job, teaching the Lombada at Managua's largest <laughs> disco. Meanwhile, the big remaining question is, what will happen to the Contras? Contra spokesmen say they are currently considering offers from the government of El Salvador, the IRA, and the temp agency, Kelly Girl. <laughs> Freed African National Congress leader Nelson Mandela hasn't missed a beat leading his country's fight against apartheid. It hasn't been so easy on his wife, Winnie, who said, quote, the man spent the last 27 years in jail. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Later in the show, we'll be talking to live none other than General Manuel Noriega, who's in custody, waiting to go on trial for drug trafficking. Here he is, drying out and getting in shape. <laughs> or something. That'll be later in the show. In Moscow, there's been some concern over the extraordinary popularity of the new McDonald's, which opened there recently. It seems that everyone is going to McDonald's instead of the traditional points of interest, like Lenin's tomb. But that was until recently, when Lenin's tomb added a pizza hut. <laughs> and as the nation enters week five of the Trump divorce story, the New York City Sanitation Department reports that a barge loaded with newspaper accounts of the affair has been turned away from several dump sites on the Gulf Coast. <laughs> And after years of complaints by non-smokers, cigarette smoking has been banned on all commercial domestic flights. <laughs> of course, not everyone is happy with this new ruling. In sports, baseball owners have vowed to open the season, if necessary, with non-union players. <laughs> and in Long Beach, California today, investigators for the drug enforcement...